Hey everyone, meteorologist Mark Collins. Remember the Webb telescope, the space telescope that was launched back in December 2021. Already pictures have been coming out, but the latest batch is pretty amazing. It's the Pillars of Creation. You've probably seen them. Let me show you here. Take a look. The left is what we were seeing uh, several years ago when they released the first images from the Hubble Space Telescope. That was actually uh, launched up back in 1995, 96. And uh, the images were not as clear as what we're seeing coming out of the web on the right. In fact, notice there, you see those towers, those pillars. That's a lot of dust and cool hydrogen gases. And under that gust, that, that dust, and gas, that's where young stars are being born. They're about 100,000 uh, years old. And in contrast to the universe, which is about 14 and a half billion years old, it's relatively young. So why should astronomers go back and photograph the same images? Well, it's because they're actually learning more information about the planet, where stars come from, because they can get a precise count of the stars with these really high resolution uh, images that are photographed in infrared light versus the Hubble, which used visible light. So with infrared light, you can actually see much further back into time, farther out into the universe. And since the, the Webb telescope is much, much bigger than the older Hubble, it can collect a lot more light and kind of cut through a lot of the gas in the universe and see clearer. And those pictures really are clear. In fact, let me move out of the way here and show you some of the pictures on the Flickr site from NASA and you can see this is that classic pillar that we've seen here in, in a side by side comparison. What's interesting here is that you see this star and there's like six spikes coming around it. Those are called diffraction spikes and notice on the older the web, the Hubble uh, images, you only had four. And so that's a trademark. Whenever you're looking at photographs, if you see the six spikes, that's how light is getting bent at the edges of the hexagonal mirrors on the Webb telescope. And that's an indication that you're seeing some of the newer images that came from the Webb versus the Hubble, which only had four. So again, you can go to the NASA Flickr site to just scroll through, seeing all the types of images that have been coming out of the Webb. And of course, you can go to newsforjacks.com where I write about weather, space, all different types of interesting science stories. So. Hopefully you have some time, spend some time there at News for Jacks. And of course, you can watch us on Channel 4, the local station.